It is the next to last day of April. Let's talk about the future. Hello, Paul Talkers and other viewers. You've probably heard about protests from mostly white people who want to reopen things. And maybe you've also heard politicians trying to do that too. When is it going to be safe? It will start to be safe the day there's a widely available vaccine and not one day before that. We won't be able to have safely crowded spaces until sometime after that, once everyone has gotten vaccinated and the incidents stop happening. For comparison, the Ebola virus was discovered in 1976, about 30 years after the flu vaccine. The vaccine for Ebola was worked on for decades. In 2014, the best candidates started being worked on, and last year, 2019, the vaccine was approved for use in US and Europe. That's 43 years. More recently, the 2002-2003 SARS coronavirus, yeah, went on for about 20 months before a vaccine was available for testing. On the one hand, COVID-19 seems more aggressive in its spread, believe it or not, than either of those. But on the other hand, the entire world is working on a vaccine right now, not just some laboratories. It's still a safe bet that one year from now is the minimum we should be thinking about. And for reopening things, a smarter bet is two to three years. I'm not saying this to make you sad. I'm saying this to try to help keep you as safe as possible for as long as possible. Please don't stop sheltering at home until you have taken the vaccine or until you've contracted the virus and recovered from it. Postscript to this video, I don't know if I'm going to keep on posting more videos in May. Definitely not every day. But maybe I have enjoyed creating things for an audience again. And I want to keep talking to all of you tomorrow. And let's hope tomorrow is better.